<sighs> Welcome back to the channel. Today we are camping up here in the mountains again. Except this time we should be. Well, this time we're camping in a tent. <laughs> camping in a tent. We brought a tarp. We are prepared. We brought a tablecloth. A tablecloth to make food on. We are fancy. This is like our mini tarp. But yeah, it's supposed to snow about a foot tonight. 10 inches. Well, it's 10 inches down at 4,000 yeah, feet. Yeah, we are higher up. We're higher up, so. We're at like 5,000. Yeah. But it's a nice, peaceful little getaway. Make a little okay. trench for us. At least this time it's not. <laughs> when it's like midwinter and the snow is, you know, like 20 feet deep, when you make a fire, it just slowly descends until it's gone. At least now we're not gonna descend, but yeah. we know where the ground is. It's only a couple inches deep. We like to bring these little fire starters. Especially everything is frozen and wet. So there's really you could struggle to make a fire for you know half an hour. Or you could just have this. But if you keep it a little bit off the ground, it burns really well. It just helps you get your other wood burning enough to dry yeah, out. Yeah, because it burns for what, like ten minutes? Yeah, it burns for a while. I mean, next level is Steve level. Fire time. Bring lighter fluid or lighter gasoline fluid or something. Just dump jelly all over your wood. I know you use he uses a blowtorch. Ready? Yeah. Your gloves are really dirty. What color did they used to be? <laughs> they used to be completely white. Oh. I love how cute this is. It's a good size. <laughs> oh, isn't it nice to have a fire? Give me a little pepperoni. Give it a check. It's getting there. It's starting to melt. The bottom cheese melted just a little bit more. Oh, I turned my heated socks up in another setting. They're warm. Mm -hmm. I got heated socks, guys. Whoa. Well, it's done to me. Well, I'll let this cool down a bit and then. I make mine now. Oh, that's so nice. Is it warm? Yes. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to warm up my hands like that. All right, let's try this masterpiece. Moment of truth. Is it done on the bottom? Oh, I'm sure it is. It's a little dark. Looks good. These are always so good. Have some salt. Yeah. It started getting dark, and man, is it coming down now. I'm excited to see globe. what this <laughs> looks like tomorrow. Well, our tent's already covered. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at our tent already. I don't think it's even five o'clock yet. <laughs> and here we, it's already getting dark and dumping snow. Trying to like not get snow inside. <laughs> oh, we're covered in snow. Oh, Hi, baby. Hi. Self inflated. My sleeping pad's ready. how much weight and snow the tent could support. Since it's so evenly spread out, I bet it's a lot. Are you worried about the tent collapse? No, it's not gonna be scary. I don't think it can take a lot more than what's gonna fall here. It's crazy to think that, like where we are, you know, it's November, and the snow is, you know, it was probably four inches deep, 
Maybe it'll be a foot deep, melt down to like eight inches tomorrow, and then. But by April, it's gonna be probably 15 feet deep here. It's kind of nice doing a trip in the beginning of winter. Yeah, well, because later on, I mean, you can just keep and keep and keep digging. Yeah. And you never find the ground. That's when it's snow cave time. Yeah. We're gonna make lots of snow caves this year. Lots of igloos, lots of things like that. My arms are gonna be buff. <laughs> Look at my alkaline water. You can see just already how much snow there is in here. It's starting to droop, droop the tent a little. It's like heavy. Well, if it falls on us, we'll notice. It's gonna be a miserable night if it does. Well, it seems like it's only dripping on my side. What the sister bit? Fire. Nilla wafers. Oh, oh, oh. Don't get crumbs everywhere. You're not gonna get crumbs everywhere? Everywhere. You give me a double. They're stuck together. Are right, they frozen? They're still good? You know what? I might pee in one of those cups if I have to pee. And just pour it outside. Better not pour it in the tent. <laughs> People always ask, like, where do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, well, two things. One, the weather's horrible outside. <laughs> but that's not even the biggest concern, is that I can't leave out of my side because the zipper's broken. And I just want to crawl over you if I have to pee. So I might as well just pee in that cup. Open, because the zipper's open to the, works for the door, just not for the rain fly. So then I just pour it. I'm glad you were telling the audience your pee schedule and habits. <laughs> well, I don't know about the schedule, that's why I have to pee in a cup. We've peed in so many things. Alright, here's the moment where I spill it. <laughs> right in the middle of my excellent pour? Do you see that pour? Do you want me to feed it to you? <laughs> That's for me. No, it's not. What, are you chugging it? <laughs> You're not supposed to chug it. No, what are you supposed to do? That's not how you drink hot cocoa. <laughs> Can you stop drinking it so good. fast? <laughs> I left you a little. You left me a lot. It's just I feel Can like I have a wafer? your slurps make it sound like you're drinking more than well, you are. You gotta aerate it so, you so it doesn't burn. Your what are you spitting? I want a wafer. Oh my god! I can't reach it. Well, we did our late night. Peas. <laughs> you peed in a cup. I, I did. I peed in a cup. And I peed outside, outside like a civilized human being. Well, and we could see the trees are quite snowy. It's already come down a lot. That's why every once in a while our tent shakes or yeah. kind of flops over. But we already kind of pushed some snow off the top because oh, we lot, don't want yeah. it like caving in. Yeah. But I'm nice and warm. I'm cozy. Yeah, no, me too. And even though it's only nine o'clock, <laughs> and the sunrise is not till like a seven, but. We'll be able to make that for sure. I mean, there's nothing else to do but go to sleep. <laughs> well, so that's where we're headed. That's, that's our only option. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good morning. Is How'd it? you sleep? Is it a good morning? <laughs> well, my last sleep was good, so yeah. But the tent, well, you know, it kind of held up. Sides drooping a little. Our sleeping bags are very soaked. Well, yeah, because tents, you know, they're they're only water resistant, really. And if these touch, then it starts to drip down. But I'm sure outside is a sight to behold. A sight to behold? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a ton of snow. Well, go behold it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Look at that. That's the level of the snow. Getting out of here is going to be insane. And it's still coming down. Let's get out of here. <laughs> this is not 
gonna be easy. What? All the snow that just came into the tent. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Oh, look at that. Quite a bit of snow. <laughs> Definitely as much as they were predicting. We can actually still see our footprints. They're just buried. We'll make wayfinding easy. I know y'all can't see it, but there used to be a tarp here. <laughs> Pretty early in the night that thing collapsed. Welcome. Pants are falling down. Snowy world. Yeah, it's snowy. Oh look, you made a little path. It's a little trail. You're very helpful. She didn't let me grab it. Yet. I, I was like, grab it? You started scraping it like you grab it again. Taking the tent apart. I'll do this first. Then? No. It's just frozen. From your pee? No, from the ice. That's okay. Oh, Yeah, the one thing that's not natural color in this forest. That's why I put them there. I was like, otherwise they're just gonna get buried in the snow. Yep. It's always amazing just how much stuff can fit in these bags. You can set up like two camps and be comfortable. Well, speak for yourself. Oh, well, you were comfortable last night or warm in there? Yeah, but I wasn't comfortable. Also, you took up a lot of space. I, I never left my mat. Huh? I never left my mat. No, your jacket is so big, it like encroaches. It was in the sleeping bag. Yeah. Except for the furry part, your hood that kept falling off. It's bad design. There's our campsite. A few more snows and there's gonna be no evidence we ever even walked on this. And a beautiful little Winter wonderland to wake up to. Going back? Yeah. Grab my water bottle. <laughs> you want me to put it in your bag? Why did you kick it? Because it was like a foot under the snow. Let me get it out. Put your fancy Evian water in your bag. Who's fancy? Me. Oh god, you're gonna need to hold these. I forgot how tight your pockets are. There's not a lot of room with my straps and pockets and stuff like no. that. No, <laughs> okay. If you're going first, you got the better yeah. shoes. Oh, let me put my strap on. Okay. My strap on. <laughs> put 
your strap on? Gotta put my strap on, babe. First, let's pull the pants up. I don't know if I like the jacket without the furry stuff. It really adds to it. Arctic expedition. There's the Chad. The Chad is great. The Chad is going to need some help getting back onto the highway. A lot of help. <laughs> and by help we mean chains. They're even a thousand feet lower, it's snowed quite a bit. Oh, yeah. But he's definitely going to need some help to make it to the road. Go back down. Usually, Chad is very good at this. Apparently, this much snow is too much. He's able to do it last time. Wanna grab it? It was right there? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, give me the snow brush just so I don't blow snow all over the road. Oh my god. Do you love me? This is an ice scraper to sweep five inches of snow. Oh wow, how much easier is that, huh? We did it. Easier coming down than going up. Always is. And well, Chad made it out. Oh my God. Without chains, just drove right through that. It was only a few <laughs> inches deep. Yeah, it wasn't that impressive. Just about every other car in the world wouldn't even consider that an obstacle. So we made it, we succeeded, it was cold, it was wet, all of our stuff is soaked. <laughs> that's why it's just going to live in the back and drain into the bed. <laughs> no, that's why we're going to go find somewhere to hang it up and dry it off. Ah! I have cold hands. I will tickle you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> you can't tickle me in this. Give it. <laughs> that works a little bit actually. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Thanks for liking and commenting. And thank you for watching this video. The winter is just beginning, so there is at least six more months of this. And I am definitely looking forward to it. Yay! <laughs> so See you excited. next time. Bye!